Bridge is staying. That's the whole point of the training. Okay, we got a boy that's almost there. That's the whole point of the training. So the issue is... Is it called Regional Director of the Bureau of Internal... Today, at least ang 88 News Forum ang God, kuha na, fall na, two weeks before or one week before. But this time ang God, nag-back out ang tulo because doon na sila yung mga emergencies. So, today, we have at least three guests. Two is from the Philippine Ecogas Producers Cooperative. This, uh, or, or Pepsi, this uh, institution manufactures or uh, is marketing the so-called LPG cylinder uh, product. According to the Department of Energy, DOE, this LPG cylinder product is the only legal alternative to uh, LPG filled butane canister, which is being uh, raided by Philippine National Police uh, at present. And uh, they said that uh, the Department of Energy said that uh, the refiller of this LPG cylinder is Phoenix and the required ACC standard compliance certificate. After filling the cylinder, Pepsi, which is the marketer, should also require should also secure ACC standard compliance certificate. And the retailer, uh, which are penetrating in the market, should also secure ACC standard compliance certificate now today they are here to explain why they are the alternative uh, the legal alternative of lpg fell butane canister please help me welcome ma'am faye putistas director secretary and chief operating officer sir ed anteligando By the way, this is also the alternative of firewood and charcoal. So, if this uh, uh, LPG cylinder will be promoted according to DOA, uh, konti na lang ang cutting of trees. <laughs> and then, our third guest is the former chief of the Cebu Office of Substance Abuse Prevention, COSAP, and now the City of Lapu-Lapu Office of uh, uh, Substance Abuse Prevention. Please help me welcome Mr. Gary Lau. He will talk about uh, running after illegal drugs in connection with the programs of President Rod Rodrigo Duterte. And now, uh, me, I... Uh, request our founder, uh, Consul General Bobby Joseph, to set the panel. Okay, may I call on our alternate host, Sir Art Barrett. Thank you very much, Sir El. Good morning, everybody. Okay, let's start our uh, forum for today. So, for the opening statement, Mom, can you start? or your opening statement to our members of the Trimedia. Hi, good morning once again. I am Fe Potestas, uh, one of the board of director of Philippine Ecogas Producers Cooperative. We are here to, to, to introduce our, our Philippine Ecogas Producers Cooperative, which is the stainless. This is, this is the one. This is the refillable RWSS. Refillable welded stainless steel cylinder. This is sold now in the market. This is sold for for our refill 16 pesos, but we have to deposit for 250 pesos ang per cylinder. So, but before tama we have to we have to undergo 
complete requirements sa government like Department of Trade and Industry, to DTI, then the mayor's permit, business permit, asa mo nga location, then the fire clearance. Then after that, the three requirements, at to na sa Department of Energy, kami na mo process, ana, basta na na mo atong tulo ka requirements. So, mo take na siya 21 days sa Department of Energy. So, after that, mo release na na ito atong ECC, Standard Compliance Certificate. So, ang atong pag-process, ani, dali ra kaayo, basta kumplito lang tayo atong tulo ka mga requirements. Before, ana, nagyod tayo store, kay mo check man ang kuan, mga Bureau of Fire. So, after ana, ato na nang i to sa Department of uh, DTI, Department of Energy, mo take na siya mga 21 days. Muna yung ilang promise na mo nga ma-release. So, after ana, i-release na to, makabaligya na da yung ta. Yan atay duha ka, ka, duha ka standard nga pagbaligya. Pwede ta mag-dealer, pwede po ta mag-retail outlet. Katong mag-dealer, ang among requirement, mo deposit good sila og 5,000 ka cylinders. Yun ani, 5,000 which cost 1.250 million. And then, napagitay 100,000 nga cash band. So, ang refill ana, barato na kaayo. Ang katong mga dealers, 11 pesos ra ang ilang, ang ilang pagkuha sa atong pick-up price. Ang atong delivery price would cost us for 50 centavos only. Within Cebu, Metro Cebu. O adto na sa like Dumaguete, na natin mga extra charges sa freight, actual freights nila. But o din sa Metro Cebu, we only add 50 pesos, a 50 centavos for, per cylinder. Sir, basin apakay ka po. No? Si, I would introduce to you our Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Ed Antiligando. Go ahead, sir. Good morning. Uh, let me uh, emphasize on our cylinders mo tindog na ko sir so this is our uh, al alternative uh, cylinder the only one legal in the market kung naka encounter kayo yung mga tin cans yung gigamit sa mga urban poor na mga panluto yung sa portable gas it's everywhere no it causes fire Yung mga sunog-sunog no, na aksidente ni Buto sa news, pirmina siya. So, because that is not safe. Kasi tinkan siya, unya uh, nipis, dili niagi sa mga, sa mga, what do you call this, sa mga standards na gi, gi, reco recommend or uh, gi, com gi comply sa DOE and DTI. So, kita, we all, we are the only one who passes those uh, tests kaya very very safe and then we are being endorsed by the department of natural resources kay mawala na ang mga nagamit ng kahoy kay bawal mana so this is ecologically friendly so karon kita lang ang naay legal na cylinder uh, para ni sa mga masa Kay di, they cannot afford yung mga 11 kilos na sobra kamahal. Before you can start cooking, you have to have a cylinder which costs 1,005. And then yung, uh, what you call this, yung uh, LPG, mga 800 pesos. Stove sets and regulator will cost you around eight uh, 4,000 pesos sa whole set. Dito, our product is portable uh, na siya yung mga safety aspect no mo eject na siya pagka nagkaroon ng overpressure so ang cylinder natin very heavy compared doon sa mga tin can sa market welded ni siya sa bottom sa upper and then doon na siya yung may cap capsule para ma-insure na sakto ang timbang so Mauni ang, ang atong produkto na para sa masa. Kay dili maka-afford ang mga tanan. Uh, dito sa PEP sa Philippine uh, Eco Gas Producers Co-op, barato ra ni mga 400 pesos. Sa mall, if you will buy this, nasa mga 700 to 800 pesos. 
napay mga model na sa 1,000 plus. Pero sa Amua, uh, 400 lang, may promo, may promo kami karon. And then ito, sabi nga ni Ma'am Fe, uh, actually kung mo palit ka, mag-deposit ka na may scheme na 30 pesos lang and then uh, maka-avail ka na ng cylinder. But ang cost talaga sa cylinder is 250. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. And the next uh, guest to give his uh, opening statement uh, is our newly appointed uh, COSAP chief of the city of uh, Lapu-Lapu, Mr. Gary Lau. Sir Gary. Thank you very much, Sir Art. <coughs> Dugay na tangwa na kita. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you very much for inviting me, uh, Mayor Ali. And yeah, I'm the former executive director of Cebu City Office for Substance Abuse Prevention. And right now, uh, I'm the special assistant for social services co concerns and special assistant for anti-drugs and illegal substance abuse in the city of Lapu-Lapu. So, wala pa man mi, sa city of Lapu-Lapu, wala pa man kaka-establish o usaka office. So, uh, I'm still the, ang designation nato special assistant on the anti-drugs. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sir Gary. Now, Sir Bobby Joseph, your opening statement. I've heard a lot of abuses by the local government. Stifling tourism. Mayors even uh, try to mount and get 4 million pesos for uh, establishing a business. This is, a, I will not uh, identify who they are at the moment, but it's a well-known fact. So you know already if it is coming from the beach area who is in control. I appeal to the local government units not to harass, molest, and, and uh, instill fear to, to investors coming to Cebu. This is uh, very distasteful, especially so that uh, Cebu is the leading province for tourism. It is sad that uh, people will have to take advantage. Uh, we who are promo believing in Cebu and bringing in business traffic here, and then they give us some um, horror stories. Thank you. Okay, th thank you very much, Sir Bobby. So, members of the media, well, uh, for our guests, let me press to my first query on uh, the just recently presented canister of uh, the LPG. After undergoing and passing all the government mandatory and regulatory requirements, why is it that in your canister there is no such thing as approved PS marking? In your canister there is no approved PS marking after getting the mandatory and regulatory requirements from the government. Where is that PS marking in that canister? Uh, there is no PS marking because uh, um, PS marks are uh, regulator. If below one kilograms, there is not, no, no PS marks are required. So, this is only 200 uh, 170 grams. So, this is exempted. Okay. Question from the other members of uh, the media. What is the frequency of uh, the usage of the canister? Let's say, uh, for the thin can, you can only use up to a maximum of, uh, uh, of a maximum of 10. Uh, uses so after which you discard it and uh, the allegedly illegal uh, refailer station will get the uh, canister and replace it with a new one on this case considering that 
that is well uh, uh, maayong pagkahimo so uh, what's the frequency of uh, usage of that uh, canister actually this uh, canister is built to ang sabi nga dito BFF best friend forever because this is <laughs> This is well dead. We can replace the bottom cap if this becomes defective, and then the upper cap it, if it's uh, pins or punctured, we can replace this. And then the nozzle, if it leaks, we can we have the machine and the uh, replacement parts to to replace. So this is uh, actually BFF. So unlike tin cans, we're in I we are. Uh, All of us in the uh, in our cooperative used to be a trader of illegal butane before, before <laughs> we came into this uh, business. And then uh, in those times, we were util using the one-time trip cans uh, for one two years. We paint it. Everything we do, we we sometimes put epoxy. <laughs> we Uh, just to uh, make the cylinder in circulation, so there is no standards actually for for that uh, no, for that canister. And how about the pricing of uh, the uh, canister? Uh, the, the pricing of the canister will cost <clears throat> will cost us 16 pesos only, 16 okay. pesos. But nana sila yipo po ang research ng cylinder. Mm -hmm. Kay for deposit man eh, maraba siya katubang atong existing nga mga 22 kg, 11 kg. So same ra nga atong gi, gigamit nga business model. Mo, mo palit sila, pasada na sila ay cylinder. Okay, does it not fluctuate when the prices of the oil in the world market uh, will go up just like buying an LPG? Next week, uh, the uh, oil producer countries will just inform uh, the public that because of uh, the uh, world uh, increase in oil prices the prices of lpgs also goes up how about this one uh, the same on behavior sir it will go up and down also depending sa yang so that is not LPG. a fixed price no it's not fixed price for now it will cost us for 16 but depending as i said depending sa, sa price sa lpg sa world market Exactly. So, uh, when we say that is uh, the, uh, the, the 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 price, that is not the fixed price not fixed. per canister. Dili siya fixed, sir. Actually, the price of uh, our product today is lower than the illegal one. You know, they're trading uh, as of today about 20 to 25 pesos per canister. Ours is only. 16 sometimes if uh, you're um, maybe in the province it will uh, just add one peso so uh, on the range of 16 to 17 pesos we are very very affordable legal na affordable pa i saw one uh, canister bopk canister eight pesos <laughs> with five eggs <laughs> ma'am doni yeah, good morning i have a question Uh, if that's the case, yours is lower at 16 and others are 20, 25. How come they are surviving? They're still around and there are more of them. Uh, I find your requirements rather stiff for a business person to engage in uh, your product. 1.2 million upfront. Uh, As, uh, an, as an investment, plus a hundred thousand bond, and all those uh, paper uh, requirements of ECC, blah 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 blah. Who's going to do the compliance? Sila, sila, sila pa rin? Yes, ma'am. O kayo na rin po uh, and in their behalf. Regarding sa mga mga local requirements like like DTI, business permit, and the fire clearance, it's the that's the investor. But naaman tay barato, ma'am, kaya di mga Retail outlet, like ito kong i-mention, 1.2, it is yeah, yeah. for the in, dealers. In case in retail, just the same. They have to have an investment capital outlay to give to to to, to you. Deposit to, only, ma'am. We will deposit for 250 per cylinder. Do, 250, one-time deposit. 
But you can claim it after if di, di na ka mo gamit. Among iuli ang imong deposit nga 250 pesos. Uh, the reason business uh, in the country is so difficult to engage in because you're making it too difficult. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for difficult. thank you, ma'am, for that. Uh, Thanks very much, ma'am Donnie. That uh, query or uh, um, question or actually. Uh, Pepsi is on your side. Pareha lang tayo ng problema. Because uh, nung illegal pa kami, we don't follow rules. We don't get permits. We don't get anything, certificates, no nothing. We'll just refill and sell underground. <laughs> Now, we are legal, so we have to follow the law. We have to follow the books. We have to get DTI. It's not our requirement. It's the requirement of the government. We have to get barangay permit. We have to get mayor's permit. We, do, you, we have to get fire clearance because you're selling hazardous materials. You have to get, uh, and then what else? Mayor's permit. And then, ngayon, mar marami pang re requirements sa business permit sa mayors. Kay, pati nag-abang ka, pati yung lot. Lesser permit, dagan permit, 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 up to the DOE, another permit. Kung wala kang supporting test, test papers, kailangan mo na supporting just to process everything. It takes time. It's not our requirement. It is the government's requirement. Now, as to the... We're, we're, we're uh, not sitting... Uh, We're not passing the back on them, What, but we're requesting them to relax on those uh, requirements to make it easy for us to our retailers, especially the sari-sari stores, because they could not get their permit. Yun lang ang conduit namin sa urban poor, yung mga sari-sari store na malik ginagmay. Now, if, will not, if, will be, uh, if the government will be heavy on them, mag magdugay ang process, so mauna siya. We are sitting down with the government. Uh. Uh, thank you. We, we know about such constraints. I came from government for 32 years. I also had my frustrations. But there's a way. There's a way to make things happen. Look at Mayor Isko now. The mayor's permit is given right away. All others will have to follow. All other documents that will require to come up with the mayor's permit, which should be... Prior, di ba? All documents prior to the granting. Pero siya baliktad. Bigay na yung mayor's permit, yung lahat ng papel-papel na yan, to follow na lang. Now, you are a cooperative. You are the big one. Perhaps you could lobby. So, other mayors would follow suit. Such nice gesture. Otherwise, uh, underground. That's why we That's, are still alive true, as a country because of our underground economy. Yes, yes. And then, uh, Thank you, Ma'am Doni. With regards to that uh, investment, Ma'am, that is for the big dealers, that 1.2 million. We, we are allowing small retailers to come in. We're welcoming everybody to participate. Bisa gamay lang ang, ang capital na investment niya provided you follow the doc documentation. It's not our requirement. It's the requirement of the government. So aside from DOA, do you need another requirement from the DENR? So it's only the DOE? Okay. And DTI. What about the ACC? What's that about? Who will issue the ECC? Department of uh, Energy. You mean the Environmental Compliance Certificate? Energy, no. Oh, Energy Depart Compliance. Standards. Okay. Standards Compliance Certificate. Okay. Yes, sir. Il. I uh, Consul General Bobby Joseph. Uh, uh, Consul General, I understand that uh, after you successfully campaign for the cleaning cleanup of Manila Bay. Uh, several Rotary clubs in Cebu uh, uh, talk with you uh, so that you can also apply this system in Metro Cebu. Sana po tayo ngayon. 
we have to meet the district governors in order to encourage uh, the members to all uh, come in and uh, meet up at 888 because we need a pledge of commitment. So this is what we talked about here. Perhaps uh, I'll have to come back to Cebu sometime on a Thursday or a Friday to meet only with the, with the governor. Then we'll have to meet up here. So I need your help to, to invite the 25 uh, clubs. And at the same time, we'll invite the Region 7 Director of the DNR and the Region 7 Director of the DILG. So if we can also do that during our anniversary, so much the better. So we'll all be here next month. Thank you. Thank you, Consul General. Uh, my next question to Sir Gary Lau. Uh, I understand that you are the uh, Chief of uh, PUSAP or Cebu Office of Substance Abuse Pre uh, Prevention. <coughs> and they said you were successful in your job. And now you are now the Chief of uh, <coughs> Close Up, C uh, City of Lapu, Lapu Office of Substance Abuse Prevention. So, uh, in relation to illegal drug campaign, sana po tayo ngayon? Mm, in general, I cannot talk in general, but here in Cebu City, when before I left in uh, sa COSAP, dili uh, mangguni siya konti sa'y kung kinsay padaghanay o kung kinsay kuan. No? Okay. You know, ang campaign sa atong presidente, pag 2016, diha naman tanan nanin kamot from head to gikan sa ulong at to sa tiil. Ang kampanya subsob. Um, in Cebu City, ubay-ubay tang na pagaduar sa atong mga drug surrenderies. In fact, sa atong nag-decongest na ito ang ato ang DBRC. Uh, Dakanta na pagawas na sa pre-bargaining na to, Mayor L, close to 400. Then of the 400 na ito ang uh, clients sa uh, pre-bargaining, adun na tay mga success stories po nila. Dili man sila tanan, apan adun na ipipila. In Lapu-Lapu, wala pa man yung office so sama sa, sa Cebu City. So, sa atong pag-takeover karun niya sa Lapu-Lapu, nag-establishar pa ta og maong office. Then, atong gistudyuhan kay ang na is 1993 ordinance, which is an ordinance creating the task force droga. That was in 1993. And then, we are repealing that ordinance 50-A by creating or establishing a city of Lapu-Lapu office for substance abuse prevention. Buhatan na yun siya. That will look into matters pertaining to substance abuse, dili lang drugs, kundi li apil ang, ang inum, apil ang alcohol, smoking. Kaya kung makatoon ang usang kabatanunan o pagpanigarilyo, dili yun na kung posibilidad nga mo inom yun na siya. Kung ano nang inom o doon ay sigarilyo, apil ko diha ang droga. So, kana siya ang ato ang maunang atong tumung o katuyuan. Dili lang ta mag-focus sa drugs but other forms of substance abuse. So, diha sa lapu-lapu. So, hopefully, sa atong pag-establish ni Ana, it will be introduced. I will introduce it sa ato ang first joint lapu-lapu anti-drug abuse council and POC, Peace Coordinating a Peace and Order Council on July 25th, which Mayor Ahong Chan is the chairman and then yours truly is the co-chair. So, magpatawag o unang panagtigom ang tanang mga sektor diya sa Lapu-Lapu City. And hopefully, um, kitsa magutay dili mo suporta o tanaw na ko ang atong mga kaubanan diha sa Lapu-Lapu City government Ang labi na naadya sa konseyo kay it needs a, a legislation to pass an ordinance creating the close-up. So, ipaagi una na ito o legis, uh, LADAC, Lapu-Lapu Anti-Drug Abuse Council, to pass a resolution. Then after that, i-forward ayon na ito sa city council for approval. Then, nangayo na ko ang among office, nangayo na ko o legal opinion from the city legal office buhan 
inigpas na to dito sa city council diretsyo wala na idakang pangutana the city count uh, the city legal office opinion stated nga ang pag-establishar og maong buhatan is proper and order so ready na gihanay na ko daan tanan buhan ini karong umaabot pit 75 sa ato ang joint ladak and peace and order council uh, wala na daghang trampas o wala na daghang mga you know mga matters or legal questions related to the establishment of an office unsa may response sa mga tao even Cebu City Lapu-Lapu City in this tribe against illegal drugs um i think that was two weeks ago that our counterpart ang ato ang OIC atong in charge sa COSAP si Mr. Rodriguez said that uh, they will be putting up a metro drug council uh, nindot na siya kay ang kampanya batok droga manggod dili lang siya uh, exclusive sa usa ka lugar kinahanglan ang kinatibuk ang lungsod or munisipyo or siyudad magkahiusa no kay usa ra man ang tumong og katuyuan ni ini kun dili ang pagbatok sa maong problema dili ni nato masolusyonan in just in a night no kay ang maong problema nakaugat na og ang maong ugat kinahanglang ibton dili man ni siya by means of you know pag chat lang sa maong branches kay as we all know if not for President Duterte's ihang thrust in the war against drugs, dili man ingon ni Ani ang kampanya usab sa atong gobyerno. Kay kani ato hungong-hunghong raman kung kinsa ning mga tawana ang na-involve. Pero karon, with the three years remaining sa ato ang administrasyon sa atong presidente, kina na atong suportaan. Kay who knows kung kinsa yung maka-takeover ni Ani, basta ang ihang thrust sa iyang panggobyerno, dili na sama sa inani ang kampanya. So it needs a an effort kinatibuk ang uh, effort sa tanang sektor no unya kinahanglan i-educate nato ang atong kabatan unan kay kay atong natanawan in lapu-lapu ang drugas problema baya pod so mao na nga ang first when our mayor uh, Ahong Chan nag courtesy call ang ato ang bagong police chief yahag yung first uh, yahag yung kipangutan na nga atong i-revive ang katong uplantokang din sa Lapu-Lapu mm. kay Andruga sa Lapu-Lapu ingon ni Ana ba yakod ka problema mm. so but sa ato nga level sa atong office we are more on information education campaign mm. sa atong kipuha sa Cebu City ato mm. pong dalong dito mm. kampanya education kay based on sa kagahi sa kasing-kasing sa tao o, o sa kagahi sa bato kung sige siya sultian mabuak ramang yun niya hmm. so uh, questionable panig makasunod ba si Jonah dyan <coughs> uh, you know one step at the time ako mang before na mo pag turn over akong giingnan ang atong kuan ang ato ang uh, ato ang Cebu City hmm. na di lang tayo magpada sa pressure no let's do this one step at the time kay hmm. kanang kung ato ning diretso on og atong hakpon ang tanan ang maong problema mo collapse gyud ta ni ini hmm. and then I, i'm also happy that ang ato ang neighboring city the city of Mandawe the leadership of mayor Jonas Cortez ato mo puning introduce ang ato ang program hmm. No, ang atong nakatunan sa atong mga benchmarking sa atong pag-visits in the different cities mm. in Luzon, the mga best practice nila on the anti-drug program, ato mang pong present sa ato ang mayor diha sa Mandawi City. Mm. And the mayor is very is open nga magtukod sa og usa ka buhatan so sama sad sa COSAP, no? Mm. So, i e, replicate mo nang kita po diha sa Lapu-Lapu. Mm. Ato pong gireplicate kung unsay naa sa Cebu City. Ato pong gisunod dito sa Lapu-Lapu City. And who knows, uh, ang mauning kuan, mga anak, mm. ang, we are one in this kanang campaign on illegal drugs. Mm. You said a while ago that uh, mayroong play bargaining and then uh, rehab yeah, and yes. then marilis na yung Uh, biktima, uh, uh, ma-release na yung prisoner. 
Yeah. Uh, now, uh, the other, uh, no, a few days ago, Mayor Isko Moreno of Manila said, this drug users are victims. What is your opinion on that? Um, that's true, Mayor. Um, na atay mga clients no kani ato sa atong plea bargaining nga kay pang pang release pero muras lang mga probe pod ba nga mm. ni agi sa atong programa gi endorse ato ang buhatan mm. ni undergo sa sila og programa no mm. CBRP atong mm-hmm. community based rehabilitation treatment program kay mm. here in Cebu City or even in Lapu-Lapu City wa man tay public rehabilitation facility So, mm-hmm. muna i-establish na to ang community-based rehabilitation program mm-hmm. in preparation for the establishment of a government rehabilitation facility. Mm-hmm. Naapagay paglaom kay kaning ato mga plea bargaining clients, sila po mismo, no? Uh, naningkamot po nga makalingkawas o maingon tampungang makagawa sa maong problema nga ilahang nasudlan. Mm. Ang talagang kisagot tayo ganahan. Kasi sila po mismo, ni confess man po na sab sila sa atua during in our uh, mga previous interviews nga ganahan na sad sila mabiha. Only that, ganahan na nato silang gairan. Muna during the atong interview sa ato ang counseling, dili lang sila ang ato ang pakigsuryaan. Kung dili appeal sa atong programa ang ilang pamilya. So through counseling diha na to nakita nga it boils down to the family also mm. ang maong problema. So with that pinaagi siguro ni Ana it needs a lot of pasensya lang gyud mm. no dili kay kibawta kaniin ani nga case kinahanglan tas an pagyud nato ang pagbinat sa lastiko. Mm. Kay kinahanglan siya og taas nga sad nga pasensya. Thank you, Gar. Thank you very much, Mayor. Ba- yeah, ba- yes. Babalikan ko ito si, okay. ano, si uh, Consul General. Uh, sir, th- there was an observation of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources uh, during the 88 News Forum that uh, more than 50% of the uh, residences in Cebu don't have toilets. And there's a, uh, ang problema nito because uh, while you advocated for the replication of your clean up drive in Manila Bay and uh, uh, you want a replication in Cebu uh, my question is how can we how can we uh, force the other res- residences to uh, construct their own toilets I think if you look at the housing it is an engineer's uh, approval that is required to have a toilet in every home. But it's not the toilet. The other one is the septic tank. Mm. Mm. So it just goes out. That's 50%. They may have toilets, but they did not put up a septic tank. Mm. So there should really be here at, at DILG to come and check. The DNR can only serve notice. The DILG is for them to implement. If they follow the rules by law, we have no problem. Mm. At the same time, we need a sewage treatment plant for all buildings, including universities and schools and malls. There should be a sewage treat. That is by law. So that's the Clean Water Act. So a lot of people are just taking advantage because of the, let's face it, the sheer corruption that is destroying our environment. So we really have to campaign and uh, we have to bring it out in media, this situation, especially now, example, that uh, the new governor that is her position is the for the clean up of the province so we need this to happen now also the water company does not have a sewage treatment plant so what happens everybody is taking advantage but the, the biggest loser is the province 
So, there will come a time that all the beach areas in Lapu-Lapu will be having floating manure. And apparently, the mayors there don't care. That is the big... The, the previous mayor. Yes. <laughs> and we don't know about this previous, this new mayor, if he ah. would care. Because everybody, you know, it only takes three years. Mm. So the previous might come back. <laughs> so we have to, to, this time we have to double... Yes. Double our efforts. Ah. Yes, because it's, it's really a campaign f from us. Because no private organization can solve this problem unless we have the collaboration of the DNR and the DILG and the DPWH mm. and the local governments, the mayors. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, it is so funny because they, they, they sing every Monday of Love of Country mm. and they prostitute themselves and act like whores <laughs> in, in uh, desecrating the province. That is sad. But, with the help of the Rotary Club of Cebu, I feel the campaign that we will do here is a, a raising awareness of the people. Imagine, how can we talk of cleanliness when the schools and universities don't have a sewage treatment plant? Mm. How many children are there and where does all that thing go out, it all goes out to the sea. And if you go to the small canals mm. and rivers, perhaps if we will desilt the rivers, we can even come up with a new uh, tourism product, mm. which putting up boats mm. and they will be going to the rivers and there will be curio shops, small hotels, small restaurants, that this uh, river, the river banks, will be filled up with tourists. Mm. And this can even help prevent others from throwing. The most important thing is for the um, looking at Cebu, there should be a count of how many people are living in waterways. Mm -hmm. How many families, in Metro Manila, it is 60,000 families. Mm. Re reporters, please take note. 60,000 families. Now, how many in Cebu? And if it's only every time that there is an election, they will start cleaning up and uh, some people taking photo sessions. So, then you... How many billions Billions and billions of investment is being poured in daily in Cebu. And then the environment is not protected. This is an issue that we would like to constantly call the attention of the private sector and government and see what we can do. And you are from Lapu-Lapu. I hope you can encourage your mayor to champion the protection of the environment. Protection of the environment is a protection of body, mind, and spirit. There is worse cause in the environment that will happen more than the cancer of drugs. That's how bad it is. Global warning is already coming in. We are being warned and we are still not doing anything about it and perhaps our friends promoting the cylinder you might have another business putting up the sewage treatment plant all you have to do is google thank you mm -hmm. uh last na lang ito, clarification uh mr consul for the benefit of the reporters itong metro cebu water district is the water supplier water utility uh how true is it that uh, they have the ob obligation for waste water treatment thank you because they are selling water they have to be responsible for
for the dirty water that comes out from a house, from a residence. And uh, I have heard, you see, grants are being given by a lot of governments in the billions. This also did not happen only in, uh, here in Cebu, but also in, uh, in Manila. And they have uh, signed a very sweet contract with Manila and Manila. That the complete establishment of the sewage treatment plant is 20,036. By that time, if the President Duterte did not step in on 2019, this year, and we have to wait for 20,036. Wala na tayong turista rito. And that one, if that will happen, you will see the withdrawal of airlines. So many things uh, will happen. We hope we don't reach this because if tourism is for the poor, by not cleaning up the bay we will not have any fishes to eat and it is now dangerous if you are coming from the airport and where the settlers are staying can you imagine they are eating the fish that the dung is going out and being eaten by their fish what will happen to them they will get sick thank you okay sir El, um yeah under the Clean Water Act, if you are a water producer, you are required to set up a common sewage treatment facility. In this case, MCWD has their own sewage treatment facility in the city of Lapu-Lapu, funded by the World Bank. Now, there is another bulk water supplier in the island, which is Mactanrak, and uh, we are contemplating, I hope, the new mayor will implement the uh, Clean Water Act provision that if you are a water supplier, you are required to set up a common treatment sewage uh, facility. So that's the uh, uh, spirit of the law. And uh, in Manila, they have already implemented, Manila has already implemented collecting uh, uh, a, a separate meter of uh, the water, water coming in and water coming out. Don't you know that in Europe, why is it that most Europeans doesn't take a bath every day? It's because the water is so expensive. So that's why uh, uh, perfumes and other perfumery in uh, the department stores are always uh, saleable items. Because you know, maligo kalido, inigawas tubig bayan, inigsuod bayan. So, and the Europeans, uh, you know, uh, wa may abog, so mamirpium na lang ko. That's the easiest way. No, no, book now. Okay? So, in this case, in the city of Lapu-Lapu, yeah, it's true that a lot of uh, households doesn't have that uh, facilities. Uh, uh, in fact, it entered already in the Guinness Book of Records that most of uh, the uh, uh, shorelines in uh, the archipelago uh, are mga latrines. So, the biggest urban latrines or Rural rat latrines in the whole world is found in the Philippines. Okay, that's already it's a known uh, uh, fact in the uh, uh, Guinness Book of Records. Now, uh, Consul Bobby Joseph, after successfully implemented that program in the Manila Bay area, and then uh, one of uh, the dreams of uh, Attorney Tony Boy Oposa, no, uh, to clean up that uh, Manila Bay. After so many success, uh, unsuccessful uh, plan, together with, I remember right, together with uh, uh, First Lady, former First Lady Ming Ramos, together with uh, uh, the mother of uh, uh, former Finance Secretary Isidro Camacho, Mrs. Leonardo Camacho of the Linis Ganda uh, of uh, Metro Manila or Bal Balikatan Women's of uh, Makati. So. Uh, and then here you are, you were successfully implemented uh, a program together with uh, the uh, uh, Imohan Grupo. Now, do you think or are you still entertaining the plan of uh, uh, eliminating or 
not eliminating uh, success uh, totally, but gamay-gamay lang a campaign for uh, the use of plastics. Because in Europe, I was there last week, when you go to the department stores, ka, you want to buy plastic, sir, for your uh, compra, and that's one euro uh, per plastic. In Hong Kong, last week, uh, mamalit gihapon ka plastic. So, they are not giving it for free. So, you are responsible as a shopper to bring your own bag. So, here, libre kayo, hatag lang tanan, tanan. And one time, when uh, Angel Alcala was still the uh, uh, marine uh, professor or bio biologist uh, professor in uh, Seliman University, and there was this uh, olive uh, Ridley sea turtle uh, was ashore in the southern uh, uh, parts of uh, Cebu, namatay, unya when they dissect, Kay bobong unsay nakitaan, plastic kay sano, natuk ang taon. Because the, the uh, sea turtle uh, was thinking, uh, book yan eh. Okay, so what's your opinion on that, uh, Consul Babi? Thank you. Let me clarify, we have not solved the, the problem in Manila Bay. It just started. The program is six years. It took uh, the Tokyo Bay ten years in 1970 to clean up. So, and ours is bigger because it includes Pampanga River and uh, an example, the Pampanga River by next month, uh, they will start desilting it and uh, turn that into a new product. So, this will be a new tourism product. But, the, just to take out six, 60,000 families we need to give them a home. The government, national government, is only producing 10,000 homes a year. So if we just give this to the informal settlers, it will take six years. So there's got to be something more that we can do. Perhaps a lot of them could be retrained and brought to Pampanga because there will be a lot of business in Pampanga. Uh, a, I went around, there's a lot of properties in Pampanga as the business booms there, you know, things. But right now, we are bringing in the, the as of two weeks ago, 23,000 metric tons came out from the Manila, from the U.S. Embassy. 23,000. In the Yacht Club, as of January, uh, July 4, 3,300 metric tons. So that's 26,000 metric tons. The bus, a truck, has five tons. All of those are going now to Tarlac. What do you put this one? In Tarlac, the most expensive component is the taking out of the waste and plastic. So from there, there will be, they claim, there's a technology that this sand will go like into a pool and then the plastic will float and the sand will be piped out under. So this is a continuing thing. There's so many things, there's so many industries that have to come. Now, looking back, the mistake was Government signed a sweetheart deal with Manila and Manila. That has to be rectified. But coming back at least to Cebu, we can at this stage, it is not as bad as Manila. But the earlier we resolve this issue, the better. Like example, just look at the building. Every building needs a sewage treatment plant. So, unless they have a certain area, that example, Ayala, is spending for all the buildings to pass that sewage treatment plant under one roof. But I don't think so. Remember the time that there was this scuba divers? There was a new resort that came out, and then they found out that all of the shit was coming out daily. Oh, 
they had to report this. We reported it to Governor Gwen. She, 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 she went ballistic because of that. It was so shameful that a big, one of the biggest resorts that came about, it was sold for and owned. And it was bought by Lok. I hope that there is a sewage treatment plant down there. So these are the things that uh, I think it is our, I think 888 is the right venue to bring out this information regularly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sir Bobby Joseph. By the way, uh, we have a common treatment facility somewhere in the North Reclamation Project before the public estate authority constructed that reclamation project. But then, if you look at it, all those locators in the North Reclamation area, when you try to see their uh, assessment of water billing, it does not correspond to the wastewater that they throw to the uh, cleaning uh, treatment facility. Why? It's just for compliance. Like, for example, you have the uh, restaurant in the North Reclamation area. You compare the water consumption, the billing consumption of MCWD, and you try to check their water output from the kitchen going to the treatment facility. It's just pathetic, no? Uh, for compliance also, only. So, well, uh, the treatment facility is not managed well, it is not run uh, efficiently, and that is only an obsolete item. Now, SM has their own treatment facility and they run it efficiently. Okay. Sir, uh, back to LPG cylinder. Uh, yung, uh, the, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, like Babaran said, that uh, kasi I told them about it and they said it will reduce the cutting of trees. Uh, to be converted into charcoal because most of the uh, renters or the boarders are using this kind of uh, stove no? the one yung bagong minyo newly married couple will use that but uh, the only difference is that uh, daghan pa ang nagamit of butane canister so Ma'am, can you explain to us what is the difference of butane canister filled with LPG than cylinder filled with LPG? Okay, as I understand, itong butane canister, when it was uh, bought by somebody, is legal. But the illegal there is that after empty na, kasi ginamit, di ba, ang butane ginamit sa lighter, after empty na, instead of throwing it to the trash can, uh, refilled with LPG at nagluluto. Now, when it gets hit, it will explode and cause fire. So, uh, what is our explanation this? Yan ba? Yan. Okay. Um, the difference between the two is the tin can canisters mm. are designed for butane, which has lower pressure uh, rating mm -hmm. only about 30 to 40 psi at ambient temperature i mean yung uh, normal temperature uh -huh. outside mm -hmm. where whereas the lpg is uh, commercial lpg used uh, in our households mm -hmm. it's about 70 to 90 or 80 on the average at ambient temperature so mm -hmm the double ang pressure niya that's why um, the government the DOE specifically and the DTI uh, disapproved the use of tin canisters for LPG use because uh, sa ibang bansa we are it's just for one trip use I mean disposable paggamit na, na, nahurot dispose para kang nag uh, nagpalit o kuan ka ng cook Yes. Cook in uh, can. Yes. After drinking, throw it in the garden. Yes. Uh, can. Sa Japan, South Korea, China, even in Europe, US, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. But in the Philippines, we are very creative people. Mm -hmm. We can refill. So, 
gigamit ang mga commercial gas, LPG, sinudlan yung tin canister which is designed for butane, lower pressure, diha na ang delikado. Mauna siya, naggawas kami ng we designed specific, specifically for LPG which is very heavy, very thick, approved nila, di testing na nila, mga bursting pressures, everything sa Manila, sa head office, nakapasarta. That's the that's only reason na naging legal ta. So, uh, this is manufactured in Vietnam? Yes, yes, sir. Vietnam. With the uh, PSO category manufactured. Yes, yes, uh, yes uh, sir. So, uh, about the market, ta, kasi ang ang uban ni Ingon Magod nga mas sayo na kay barato pukon pananglitan ang imong LPG nga 11 kilos mahurot maserserel ka pangitag 750 pesos whereas og ang usa ka kanan na mahurot 18 pesos sa imong pangitaon <laughs> may magdi ta kung palit suffering sa mauna kag palit na naa now uh, as kwan kaning Pila naman, asa naman takutob sa itong market karon? Um, sad to say, uh, uh, be because of limitations, uh, because of the processes, mm. the, de the delay, daghan uh, na nag-apply, but mm. we cannot trade or sell uh. Pepsi without the proper uh, permits. Uh, Mauna, dihata na hulog na alkansi. Ang legal... Requirement, ang Department of uh, Energy, uh, dugay na nang nabaligyan. Dugay na, o. Oh. Diba? Oh. Ang illegal, sige. Sige, baligya. Sige, baligya. Wala yung mga permit. Now, uh, after Kita, this ago, doon na may balita nahulog. nga nakadakop ang police of 700,000 worth of Butane. Yes, in Minglanilla. So, napagide ang butane karon. It's a huge, huge business, sir. Ah, mm. uh, dako. Pero kung sa magkahi ka rason, why uh, most people uh, choose butane canister rather than LPG cylinder na mas safe? Actually, it's not... Uh, wala sila yung mahimo. There's no choice because mm. we only have limited numbers of retailers right now uh -huh. because we have to process, so, uh, go through the process of applying, uh -huh. uh, getting permits and everything. Uh -huh. And then the manufacturing of the cylinders is not that fast. Uh -huh. Unlike the tin canister, you can easily order uh -huh. uh, one container van. Uh, every, basiyo, di ba? Yes, and Ito every day. Magamit ang lighter, ilabay lang, kuhaon na ito nila, yes. i-repel ang LPG. Uh -huh. Marami silang advantages. So, that's why um, we are expanding our um, production of cylinders. And uh, meron kaming i-introduce na Pepsi Light later uh, on, uh, which is more affordable. So, hindi ko muna sabihin kay, uh, baka may preempt yung aming uh, marketing plan. But uh, we, we can come up with a uh, parang uh, Pacman Turman fight na to. Pag lumabas yung aming Pepsi Light. Maka ano na ta. Kita ang Pacman, sila na ang Turman. Now, uh, what is your way of uh, disposing that uh, butane canister? Kada well, bang uh, ato ning kuhaon kay kita na lang maglabay ano, or di na magamit sa uban? Yes, yeah. there, there is a proper way for, to dispose those uh -huh. cylinders because we have to comply with the DOE requirement in this, the disposals. Of this item. Is it true that you have a program that if a person has four butane canister, ilisan o gusak ka but LPG cylinder? Yeah, that's true. During the promotion time, the launching time. Wala na ron. Wala na karon. So karon very affordable naman. You only need thirty pesos and then you can get one because ah. Now, ah, if after depositing thirty pesos. Mawala. Um, do, do he has to pay the remaining 220 pesos? Actually, dili naman mawala because everybody needs, uh, everybody has to cook every uh -huh. day, morning, afternoon, and uh -huh. uh, dinner time. So talagang, eh, talagang imo nang iyanuhan, sabi ko nga kanina, B Alimahan. BFF <laughs> muna yan. Uh -huh. Kay every day you will use that. Kay wala uh -huh. na yung magamit na Mahal ang 
dako na cylinder mahalang kurente but if ever mawala gyud na somebody will take it so do he has to pay the remaining 200 um, mao na ang responsibility sa retailer namo sa retailer yes oh eh, there uh, is a uh, agreement between the customer and the retailers uh, bahala na ang retailer ug ang customer magsabot magsabot yes basta sa kamo 250 uh, gyud kami ang ang engagement namo sa retailer so uh, they will be responsible to to those cylinders uh, na issued nila uh, and then sila man ang ang customer naman mo mo responsible sa retailers uh, But as long as the cylinder is there, walang problema. Yes, sir. Because sabi ko nga na we can repair those cylinders for a long time. Hmm. So, uh, ang market, how far na ang naabot? Uh, we have penetrated the uh, northern Cebu. We have in, of course, uh, Metro Cebu from Danau to Karkar. Hmm. Down to Karkar. Hmm. We expanded sa Bohol. Hmm. And now we in... In Dumaguete, yes. Mm. Negros. So, wa na yun itong firewood of charcoal, no? Na, kay, apa, og, kay... Og na firewood, mm. maalindahuan, di naman na musiga. Yes. Di ba na si kumpara sa inyo, itawad ba lang. Yes. So, there will come a time, Sir El, nga ang gamiton ni Lichon ang ganina. Ha? Beauty na. We Sir, have a griller. Eh, ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. We have a uh, products, new products coming out. Kay wala na iuling. So, we have a griller na lalabas sa... Uh, New product nato, uh, na pa isuga, uh, uh, sa pila torch, na pa L, uh, LPG torch, so daganta daganta ka items. Okay, yeah, sir, in your canister there are four pictograms here, and I identify only one, which has a, a number two category as uh, flammable gas. How about the four items, uh, pictograms at the back? Could you explain it? Ah, yes. Odorless uh, or what kind ah, of... Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, one says here that you cannot put the canister in indoors. Kasi ang LPG, uh, ang vapor niya, uh, this is for everybody's uh, information. Ano? If you can smell a uh, gas leak, it ha- LPG gas has an odorant called ethyl mercaptan so hindi yan talaga normal na ano niya na baho uh, scent niya talagang uh, intentionally giad na para ma-detect nato ang leak if you can detect a leak kay ang behavior sa vapor it's heavier than air in vapor form kay ang LPG sa sulod mura na siyang tubig liquid sa bottom, vapor sa taas. Ang gigamit nato, nato sa pagluto is the vapor. So, yung sa upper portion. So, once na nag-leak yan, ang, ba- ang vapor na yan, dili siya mo saka. It will go down sa sa flooring. Like what happened in Makati Kondo, uh, yung tag sa isa oven, yung fitting niya dili mao European imported yung iyang oven and then gigamit niya local na mga fitting so wala siya kay baon na nag-leak and then he goes out of town uh, madalas so one time uh, a week siguro yung gas niya napuno yung room niya and then somebody uh, switch off yung, uh, switch on a light electrical switch ni buto yung pad yung ano yung kasi pre precast yung mga yung building guba to tanan ha, ano to labay na na merong ban dumadaan patay yung mga ano so that's that's very dangerous sa uh, vapor no that's why sa balay uh, keep yung ano mo na, na, windows and then yung uh, doors open kung makakuha makasimot kayo yung vapor So mao na ang ano dangers ano kaya dito nakalagay dito do not use indoor. The second one is do not incinerate. Yung wag initan. Then wag yung dili pwede sa direct sunlight kay it will increase the pressure. And then third one is Ito sa handling ni siya. Uh, may proper handling siya dili kinahanglan na ano yung uh, close 
close na vehicle ang gamiton. Okay. Um, Kang Mr. Sir, Mr. Gary Lau. I remember, sir, a uh, few years back, sa COSAP pa, gigamit nila ang services sa mga radio and uh, TV talents to stage uh, drama in previous barangays for the anti-drug campaign. And then, nawa naman to siya. Uh, you think effective pa to if you uh, apply that in, uh, in Lapu-Lapu City at this time? Yes, sir. Uh, effective gihapon siya ka, in fact, Uh, for one year, I think one year or six months before we exit, we exit ta sa Cebu City. Nagpa variety show ta sir sa kabarangay most uh, especially sa mountain. Uh, daghan pag yung mananaw, daghan pag yung manggawas ilabi na panahon sa kapistahan. So, very effective. Daghan mga mode of uh, ways in delivery sa ato ang kampanya Batok Droga kay ang kadunmangot kasagaran more on lecture no well effective gihapon siya pero mo prefer ko nga dili daghan mas nindot room lang kay na observe gyud na mo every time nga ay information drive nga ipaygayon ana sa court or even sa auditorium ang maminaw ra gyud first nga to sa fifth row and the rest dili so mo gyud nag encourage na mo when we do our information drive nga kung mahimo anha ta sa sud sa classroom kay close nga makita gyud nato tanan and then by way of that ma deliver nato ang atong gustong mensahe nga maipahatag nga dili lang sa mga estudyante kun dili appeal na usab sa ato ang dili man gud nato ang among ang ako mangong approach sir more on dili siya binuok kung dili by sector atong ibagsa-bagsa dili na to itinibuok kay mas maayong mga ni ng one-on-one ang atong pag istorya rather than in a group aron kung one-on-one masabtan mapabuhagay niya ang message ato gayong mapadangat nga to sa tao nga atong giistoryaan What do you think of granting uh, there will be a budget for this coming out with Uh, infomercial or short film for that matter that will be shown in the barangays or in the schools uh, in, 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 in due time? Yes, sir. Dito sa Lapu-Lapu, hopefully uh, by next year, ma-appeal na once our office, ang ato ang city of Lapu-Lapu, substance abuse, ma-establish na, at doon na nag uh, klarong structure. Uh, we will take note on that, sir, sir Dan, and then in few siguro i-inform na niya mo na mo unya sab kung ang maong programa ma-realize thank you thank you very much sir thank you sir dan sir bobit from preman to preman <laughs> gary uh, this year's biggest crime happened in lapu-lapu with christine silawan and you know that very well and uh, apparently Uh, a 16-year-old girl who serves the church Gipanguyaban or the Heuyab Pagyot niya Panguyaban and they end up and that raped and then her face was disfigured and I'd like to know what is your program in that particular barangay kay nga no na abtan manggil the most horrific crime in Cebu uh, Yes, atong i-revitalize kay atong gi napangayo na ta Sir Bobet ang mga updates on the status of the anti-drug program in every barangay. Uh, we have to revitalize the Barangay Anti-Drug Abuse Council in every in the 30 barangays unahon una na to naka-schedule na ta sa, sa Sir Bobet sa ato ang mga airport sa ato ang mga amahan nga sektor na ato nang na meet last week and then I already informed them na on the first week of August inig-establish na dayon inigpatawag na nato sa first LADAC the Lapu-Lapu Anti-Drug Abuse Council and Peace and Order Council that's the time oh my god na dili pa mangguko kasugod unless dili pa mapatawag ni mayor ang LADAC and Peace and Order Council kay diha mangguko na isgutan diha sa tamang ayog approval Upon his approval on that July 25, masugdan na nato matag barangay. Ako nagitong giinan na nga ang mga 
amahan erpat sir uh, sir bobet mafollow lang niya ang mga kababayan nga dili kamo ang mga rig sa city hall kon dili kaming membro sa ladak kami may mo anha sa inyong barangay you just ang inyong kinahanglan itapok lang nato taga ila mig bangko taga ila mig mga tawo nga atong inyong mga sakop sa miyembro and we will do the tasking in information drive sir grassroots ang atong approach just a follow up I could not believe that Christine Silawan was serving in Redentorist Church and uh, that means the church hierarchy did not even know about the problem that they had in the middle of their church. Maybe you should also de consider involving the church in this. Uh, I'll take note on that, Sir Bobby. Thank you very much for your kind of input. Thank you. Okay, so sir, we don't have enough time. Our parting statement. Let's start with uh, Ma'am, your parting statement to our uh, members of uh, the media. Uh, no, thank uh, you. To our televiewers. Thank you sa 888 News Forum sa pag-invite na mo. And we, are, we welcome uh, retail outlets and dealers to Philippine Eco Gas Producers Cooperative. Bo join na mo sa among alternative safe and uh, and very cheap uh, fuel cooking or sorry, cooking sorry, cooking gas yes sir your parting statement uh ilang so same uh, likewise we welcome everyone investors ang office na mo diha sa pacific mo luyo uh piburgos street no tapad sa metro warehouse so, we welcome everybody to join us. Thank you. Sir Gary. Yeah, sa pagpasalamat ha, ang, Cebu, ang City of Lapu-Lapu Office for Substance Abuse Prevention, ang Lapu-Lapu Anti-Drug Abuse Council, mapasalamat kami sa organizers sa atong 18 Forum na diin, giinvitar kita, aroma palanog, pumapadangat nga to sa kinatbagan, ang mensahe, may tungod sa kining ginadi nga droga og atong timan-an nga sa droga pildi gyud tang tanan. Dakang salamat og maayong buntag natong tanan. Thank you Sir Gary. Consul Babi. Good morning. I would like to acknowledge uh, past president Francis Wico of the Rotary Club of Manila. He gave me an idea that they will be scheduling next month a group of Rotarians to come visit us. Thank you. In behalf of our regular host, Sir Eli Habakero, this is your alternate host, Art Barit. And thank you very much for your presence. See you next time, next Tuesday. Thank you. Good morning.